What's up, survivors, and welcome to another episode of Ark Fjorder. We're up here in the snowy mountains around the Blue Obelisk looking for some high-level UDs worth taming, because if I'm gonna start running bosses here on Fjorder, I want my army to be as strong as possible. We're gonna need to tame a breeding pair of high-level UDs in order to get an imprinted one for the battles ahead. If you enjoy what you see, survivors, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Let's get surviving. Like I said, survivors, the snowy mountains around Blue Obelisk are a hot spot for UDs, but they can be found pretty much anywhere there's mountains, really. And after killing a couple of low levels, this guy finally turned up. Once the UD is by itself, survivors, it's an incredibly easy tame. The only thing you're gonna need for these guys is, of course, Tranks and a 4x4 trap with a tame that doesn't get scared as easily. The reason why I'm going for normal UDs too is because they actually have more health than the new X variants. And while the X variants might look a little bit cooler and have slightly more melee, the only thing I'm really gonna need the UD to do is stay alive as long as possible. At the end of the day though, it doesn't really matter which variant you choose to tame up. No, hopefully I didn't just ruin the effectiveness. Ah. Okay, good, that's a relief. Taming effectiveness is still 100. As you may know, survivors, UDs are tamed up using Extraordinary Kibble, but we're not exactly working with any of that yet, so we can settle for either mutton or prime meat. Quick tip, survivors, if you're gonna use Sanguine Elixir on knockout tames, be sure to put the food in the inventory first, then drink the elixir. Very average stats on this guy, but that's okay, because we still do have another chance to find a better one in the female. I'm hoping to get at least 9,000 HP on UDs. I'm gonna be really lenient on all of the other stats, so hopefully we can find a better one here soon. Okay, check it out survivors, we finally found a mate for our male UD. Got a couple of Carnos in the area, but that's no big issue. And there we go, beautiful, 135. I didn't want to damage the UD while I was fighting all these Carnos, so instead I picked each of them up with my Wyvern and dropped them off a safe distance away from the UD. Oh no, I should have been paying attention to my stam. We might have made a mistake. Go get in the trap. Perfect. Okay, that was kind of messy, but if it works, it works. <laughs> Let's get this thing knocked out. Come on, high health. I am hoping for a high health. Let's go. And sweet. At least we didn't almost damage it like we did the first one. Let's see what we're working with. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. The HP is already better than the other one post-tame, so could be what we're looking for. Moment of truth, survivors. Are we going to need to tame more UDs, or do we have our pair? I'd say we got our pair. Look at that. 10k? 10k HP is definitely okay in my book. Time to get these terrifying things breeding so we can get an awesome imprinted one. Okay, let's see what this thing's working with in stats. And we got all the stats, nice. Really quickly, survivors, I wanted to give a small update on the shadow mane breeding. After taming those shadow manes a couple episodes back, I have been non-stop breeding these things in the background. All the ones over here are still growing, but the ones back here are all fully grown, ready to get levels. I am really excited to start taking these things out on boss runs. There is so much to do here on Fjorder, so much things to fight, all the world bosses and all the guardians from the original arc. Oh yeah, we're in for quite a time. Excellent survivors, the baby Yudi is fully grown now. I'm just going around getting her some kills to make her as strong as possible before we do start taking on some bosses here on Fjorder. And there you have it survivors, we now have an imprinted Yudi that we can take on to future boss fights here on Fjorder. The only thing we gotta do now is wait for those shadow mains to be fully raised up and ready to go, and I'm thinking that once they are, we can start our very first world boss. In any case, survivors, I hope you enjoyed the episode today. If you did enjoy the episode, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And, as always, stay surviving. I will see you in the next one.